Hello guys again and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and today we've got this Bitmore Line UPS series, the model U850 LCD. Two years warranty, you can see how it looks. Line interactive LCD display, surge protection, Suku outputs, LED indication, telephone protection, USB port and free software download to control it from your desktop. Well, nice one, but let's open to see what we have inside and how we can work with that. The manual, of course, if you want to read it is your choice, but stay with me, we're going to find out all about this product. It is about 5.2 kilos. Now let's take out the cable and connect it to the power. It is about 1.2 meters. This unit it is 480 watt. It has a 12 volt 9 amber hours battery. Recharge time after complete discharge it takes 6 hours to 90%. Transfer time typically it goes from 2 to 8 ms and 10 ms maximum. When backup sounding every 10 seconds, when low battery sounding every 1 second, when overload sounding every 0.5 seconds, and when we've got a failure, it will continue sound. It has a full protection, discharge, overcharge, and overload protection. Working environment is from 0 to 40 Celsius. Noise level, it is less than 40 decibel. And we've got the LCD display at the front. Take this out and the on off power, of course. And we've got and the USB to connect it to your uh, PC. Of course, I don't see any cable included inside. No cable, you need to buy separately the cable. And from the back, we can see we've got two outputs telephone protection and the plug for the power. And has turned on automatically and as we can see at the front we've got the input it says 236 volts output we've got nothing and the charging of the battery and as i can see the battery is fully charged we've got four icons here that means the battery is fully charged now i will do all the connection my pc and my monitor and for my case i will connect my two routers my two ip camera and my security alarm. Of course, the biggest load it is from my desktop and not from the other devices. And we will see how it goes. I will download and the software, install it, and we are going to run some tests. Turn on the Win Power Manager. It is the software that you need to download. I will leave down below to the description the link. Every time you open the software, you need to act as an administrator. The password is administrator. Then you can go auto search device. And here you can see searching for device in a local computer. And here's the UPS, just double click. On the first look, we can see we've got the input voltage, 233.4 volt, the UPS temperature 25 Celsius, battery voltage is 13.6 volt, 100% capacity. The low at Voltage is 233.4, 50.3 Hz, and the load is 35%, and it goes up and down, depends what are you doing to your desktop. Now, if I'm going to run a benchmark for my CPU, you can see the load is rising. And if I'm going to stop it, it will go down again. It depends what are you doing to your desktop. Now, you need to press this button, is the shutdown parameters. And it will reveal this uh, window, remote settings, local settings, USB, line interactive, allow battery to discharge for, begins a down immediately when battery is low, begins a down when UPS battery is at 20%, I will leave it at 10% and I will run some tests, system shut down, hibernate, multi UPS input, shut down, uh, UPS time needed for system shut down, I think one minute it's okay, mine needs about uh, 20 seconds to set down, 15 seconds. And it has some settings here, maybe they will be helpful for you. 
shut down alarm interval, schedule shut down countdown warning, and more and more. Okay. Here you can see the monitor. UPS power off, UPS power on, UPS test. Device control again, UPS model settings. Event action shutdown parameters, wake up on LAN settings. Battery test settings, battery self test now, battery self test schedule, UPS on off schedule. More and more settings, view schedule. Motor remote device. Web server control, view server URL. And more and more, we've got uh, preference, uh, bottom image, temp, data format, day, month, year, advanced settings, and many languages you can choose. And here, comport settings, you can choose. Add delete uh, Modbus TCP. And more settings that may help you to work with this UPS. Now, I'm going to unplug it from the main power, from the input power, and we will see how long it will last uh, the battery. Okay, here we are, fully charged the battery, 100% capacity, load is 31%, and let's unplug it from the main power. And we can see input power fail it. Okay, thank you. 69% the capacity, 12.2 volts, and the load 33%. And I have connected to my UPS now, my monitor, my desktop, two IP cameras, two security alarms, two routers, and one LED bulb. And here you can see the schedule viewer, you can see the event action, UPS battery low, etc, etc, some information. You can set up email settings to send you email when something wrong. SMS, system logs. Event log viewer. The time, the day. Data log viewer, date, time. In voltage, out voltage, battery voltage, out, load, temp, and delete. Nice, and now we're just going to wait how long it will take to shut down my desktop. And of course, here you can see begin shut down when UPS battery is at 20% capacity. System, shut down, okay. Well, for me, I don't need to, to work uh, with a UPS power. I only need to have the opportunity to shut down my desktop uh, safely. Of course, as much as you are using your desktop, more uh, CPU, more uh, graphics power, the capacity of the battery, it will be less and the load will be more. more load, less time to have with your UPS. And if my monitor or my desktop it will be off, definitely the other devices they will have a longer time to work with the UPS. More power consumption we've got with the desktop and monitor. And from here you can uh, turn on, turn off the warnings, audio warnings. And you can hear every uh, 10 seconds you can hear a beep. And we can see we've got 0, 0 volt here, the input of course, no power. 231 volts, 50 hertz. 
Load 34% up and down, 12.1 volt the battery, 65% the capacity. And we'll get 11.7 volts, 50% the capacity, 34% the load. And we are in a nine minutes now with UPS power. Of course, if you want, you can put it on 10%, but I don't like this. I think 20% is okay. I don't want to damage my battery, I want to drain all the battery. One time in two months, just drain your battery, do this process. Twenty seven percent capacity, twenty seven thirty one it goes, eleven point two volts. The battery 34% the load. I think we are near to set down my desktop. It is 13 minutes now with UPS power. And we can see in the load it is not more than 6%. It depends, sometimes it's more or less. And we can see shut down notify workstation to shut down in uh, seven six five. It did uh, drop the capacity of the battery for a moment. Well, that was all, guys. Thirteen minutes and thirty four seconds. And let's plug it in again. Well, guys, that was all about this uh, UPS bit more. Definitely thumbs up. Is doing a great job. 13 minutes is a great time for me to safely shut down my desktop and of course to give power to my IP cameras, uh, security alarm and my routers when the power is off. Of course if you need more time to have with this UPS you can buy the next model, it has more capacity. It's working great, I have it now for a week and everything is good. If something will happen, I will leave down below to the description my thoughts. Something that I would like to have it is a third plug uh, from the back and the UPS port uh, to have it at the back and not in the front with the display. But it's okay, it doesn't bother me so much. And with all that guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like what you like, my videos your choice, share this video, you never know who may need it. And hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.